Hello scrapbooking friends, thank you for joining me for another process video. So today I'm working on another um, layout for the Dotty Batflare Cyber Crop. It's International Scrapbook Day today and the challenge that I'm working on is Catherine's challenge to do a double page. Now this can be a, a layout, you know, 12 by 12, it can be a traveller's notebook, it can be any kind of um, project as long as it's double page. Uh, Cat is really good at traveller's notebooks. I think that's her favourite thing. Um, and I do really enjoy doing my traveller's notebook. But today I am going to be doing 12 by 12. And it, as you can see, it's a double page spread. So I think Cat added a few other things into the mix. So at least two photos, some focusing on journaling, an interactive element and three types of embellishment. Um, you don't have to do all of those. You can choose um, from those. So... Um, you don't have to do all of those to meet the challenge, but obviously, you know, you can try and do as many as you can. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not sure I'm going to get an interactive element on the page today, but um, I'm going to try and do all the other things. Uh, the other challenge I'm going to do this layout for is the Bamble Fox monochromatic lay uh, challenge um, for the month of May. So it's um, choose your favourite colour and then add one accent colour. So um, I quite often use a lot of green and yellow in my scrapbooking uh, especially green scrapbooking outdoor photos of the dogs so my color is green and my accent color is yellow and um i'm assuming we can add things like neutrals in too but um yeah i'm going to try and stick to the uh, green and the yellow so um i've got some vicky boot in fernwood paper here and i've also got this echo park endless endless summer and it's the um sun rays paper um as you can see, I didn't trim it down too well. I left a little bit of the pattern on there because I trimmed it from the other side. I hadn't realised and I, I don't know, the paper must be slightly more than 12 inches or something because they didn't match. But, you know, I managed to kind of, what I've done is I've mounted them onto just some ordinary white plain cardstock and uh, just trimmed a little bit off to make them even. Obviously, with there being, it just was one, I had one sheet of this and one sheet of this. So, um, obviously I couldn't match the pattern, but that, that doesn't matter. I wasn't in, I wasn't trying to match the pattern at all. So I've got these um I've got this put this Ellie's studio card for May. My lovely friend Moira sent to me. I've got some enamel dots, I've got some sequins, lovely dotty vat flare pieces, bramble fox. This piece I'm not sure it came from Mercy Tiara, a prize that I won, so I don't know the brand at all. Um some uh, pom pom ribbon, some thread, and some twine. Um, I know for the challenge at Bamba Fox, you do have to have a Bamba Fox piece on your layout to, to be in with a chance of uh, winning a prize. Um, so yeah, I have got, I would have, I did have a summer piece that I wanted to put on, but because this is not really a summer photo, it's, um, I didn't want to use that on this layout, so I wanted to save that for like a summer photo. So I thought I'd use this summer vibes, because that's kind of perfect really, because Buddy was out in the garden rolling around and it was nice and sunny and, and what have you. So it was kind of like, yeah, it was like summer vibes. I've got my Impress ink pad in spring green. I've got a couple, few brads here, may or may not use. I'm not sure if I can be bothered, <laughs> but I've got them out anyway. This little stamp set here, which is L Studios. I was thinking I may add one or two of these faces onto a couple of the, uh, you know, the sun, um, the suns. Right, so what I'm going to do is I've got these large photos. I was, I could have, I could have trimmed this photo down to match this photo and not had the um, border, I, but I decided not to. I, I quite like the way it looks like this. I've actually printed them both onto A4 paper and I've trimmed them down to so the borders I've created myself. They're, they're not too even because my trim is not brilliant, but you can't see the one on the, the white so much, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, so I did originally think of maybe having the photos the same size, but when I sort of trimmed them with the border just to see what it looked like I decided to uh, stick with the two different sizes so what I thought I might do is put this one here a little bit over to the right a little bit further over to the right than the left and then this one I'm just going to do slightly lower and uh, the same sort of gap here so let's see how that goes it's going to be another one of my uh, top left to bottom right layouts I think oops don't want to do that do we maybe sort of about there I'm not using my tea ruler 
And I can't use these lines because they're drawn, but I think that's going to be fine. And then we've got that card there. So I've got my pieces here. And I thought I'd do three at the top and three at the bottom like this. camera piece here. Summer Vibes I thought might look nice there. And what I do is I pop the yellow one next to the Summer Vibes piece on this section. And then on this section I'm going to just leave, probably have the camera sort of there over one of the uh, sun, the circles of the sun. I've got this uh, pom-pom ribbon and because this one goes from green through to yellow I thought it probably be you know it's quite perfect actually so I was thinking I may pop this on here um, but I'm not sure yet I do quite like that there though and then I've got my sequins and uh, enamel dot pieces for you know the final touches I chose this frosty evergreen um, sequin mix because it's green and yellow right the photos are down Let's pop, let's see if we can get these down. And also, oh, now then, let me think. I've got, I've picked up these bits of thread. I've got, the, I've got the actual thread, which I've loosened. And I've also got the actual original, you know, I don't know if that's actually, that's not the same one, actually. This one was actually embroidery thread from the same machine, whereas this one was the six-stranded thread. That's a different colour. Um, I had to get some yellow because I didn't have any yellow up here in my craft room so what I might do is I couldn't decide whether to wrap the twine around or do a little bundle of thread underneath like that I think I'm going to go with the bundle of thread so we'll have some glue for the bundle of thread like that and then we'll pop this piece on top Maybe like that, I think. I didn't mind it being a little bit uh, messy, obviously. Messy is good. Can be good in scrapbooking. There are times when we want things to, uh, you know, line up and look nice, but a lot of the time, messy is good. For me, anyway. Right, we'll pop that one down. Green, I was thinking of using the green with the green um, flare pieces and the yellow with the yellow. The other idea I had was to use yellow here and green here. But I'm thinking now, I've already started to do the green at the top. I'd forgotten about that idea. So I think we'll match the thread to the flare piece. We haven't actually got a lot of choice in that matter now. I actually do like that though. That's what it looks like. Okay, let me get this one down. Like that. And I think I definitely do want that piece over that that particular some circle there. I'm not sure whether I'm just going to leave that plain or whether I'm going to um, put something in the in here. I may put like a sequin or something in there. Get some more of this out. Yellow, this piece. Don't mind all the extra thread. If I, if I don't like, if I feel as if there's too much of it later, then I can. Um, you know, um, push it in a little bit more, tuck it in. Right, some green here. I might need to get a little bit more green off my, uh, off the bobbin, because it looks as though I've got more yellow than green out. Pop this one on here. So these photos were Bud. He, the other day he was just, oh, it was quite nice outside, it was quite sunny. And uh, he just kind of threw himself on the lawn and was kind of rolling around and as dogs do. He was really funny. And uh, yeah, he's, he's, well, 
say he's a sun worshipper. He would be if I let him be a sun worshipper. He, um, he's a sort of dog that on a sunny day, like the hottest day of the year, he'll run outside into the garden, fling himself onto the lawn in the most exposed section of the lawn of the garden and just kind of lie there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's quite a vulnerable dog, really. I mean, all dogs are vulnerable to uh, the heat, obviously. But, um, yeah, Buddy in particular we do have to watch because he's got immune conditions. And he's quite a little boy as well. He just would not last very long in the sunshine. So I have to go out and scoop him up like instantly and make him come back in. Obviously, he is allowed outside in the garden, but not on, a, not on the hottest day of the year. Apart from to do his wee-wees. And he's definitely not allowed to... Uh, roll around in the heat of the sun. Not sure whether they're in the place that I want them to be now, looking at them. They look a bit too, you know, squ like square, like a right angle. We'll see. I think they're okay. I'll pop this down. I'm going to do my journaling on here. It's not really, I know the, the um, challenges focus on journaling. I am going to do journaling and tell the story that I've just told you. But I wouldn't say it was a, fo a journaling focus layout, so uh, we shall see. I'll just hold that down just for a second. So these cards that Moira sent to me, I'm keeping them in my little basket here. And when we get to the beginning of the next month, I'm picking them out <laughs> to use on the, you know, on a layout to for that month. So yeah, I've, I thought I'd use it for this one today. I think that's fine. That's sort of drying a little bit there. I'm not too sure about using those brads now. I'm not sure I can, uh, you know, be bothered. Now then, we've got these green enamel dots here, but I don't think I want things in both corners. Don't think I do. But what I think I might do is pop some of these. They look a bit orange, but they are yellow. Is pop some of these. Um, I was thinking of dotting some around the little sunshines. But now I'm not so sure, actually. I'm thinking I might want to keep these sections uh, empty. Hmm. Now I'm not sure. But what we'll do, I think, is have a little, do a little bit of uh, sequin work. I think I'll probably add, add to these embellishment clusters. Maybe on the little sunshines here. I'll put a bit of glue down. I can't change my mind, can I? So I think I'll just do that for the moment. Now I'm going to stick with the, I am going to stick with the yellow on the yellow here. Although some of those pieces look a little bit more, like I say, look a little bit more orange. I'm taking them as being yellow. I'm just picking up the ones that come onto my little tool here. No, yeah. And then I think I'll probably add some here as well because although it looks very different because the pattern is very different it's actually kind of a similar cluster so of course here there's not the obvious place to put the glue because you've not got the sun shines but um that's fine i knew that when i was thinking of the layout thinking of how i wanted to do the layout that one doesn't want to release oh it's gone onto that section instead that's fine Don't mind which one I pick up as long as it's green. See if that one will stick. No, it won't. So again, I've got um, not a lot of free space because I'm doing the double page layout. So it takes up quite a lot of room on my. Uh, oh, there isn't one on there. On my desk, as you can see. So I have to think, work a little bit differently when I'm. Uh, Doing a double page. I've done quite a few recently. I think I've got some more to do as well. I do love a double page layout, especially for like something like a special occasion. I mean, this is just an everyday moment in the garden, but uh, I thought the photos were really nice. And it's kind of telling the story of, you know, the weather getting better and. Obviously, we're not in summer yet. Got a long way to go, but it did feel quite summery when Buddy was rolling around there. Right, that looks nice. I think I've already got the date. 
on my date stamp so we'll, we'll add that i think yeah fourth of may uh, still wondering still wondering now about whether to use some of these green pieces or not thing is i don't want to add the green pieces up here so yeah no i'm not going to i'm just going to leave those off i think do i want to add some of these little <laughs> Loose stamped. I think it'd, it'd have to be this one with the all the hearts. Now then, I think what I'm, although I said I don't want to add green to the yellow, <laughs> I'm thinking that with the stamping I've got to do that because you know you wouldn't see the yellow. I don't think I'll just have a little practice stamp there. Now then, I think I'm just going to do it. Oh. Gosh, I got that one in the right place. No, I don't think that will happen again. No, it didn't. Right, that's quite, yeah, I like this. It's quite funny. I literally can't believe that I got that one in the exact position that I wanted it to be in. Right, put this one back on. I'm wondering now whether um, to just leave that, actually, those ones, because I quite like those two there, just, you know, popping up on the sunshine. That's dry. Oh, did we lose a sequin? I think we lost a sequin. Where are they? Here they are. Let's see if I can get another one down onto that glue. I might need another little dab more of glue. That's the wrong way. I wanted it that way. I like the dome bit. The dome bit of the sequin to touch the page. Because then it obviously it would adhere, um, adhere better. Right, um, so we had to use at least three types of embellishment, didn't we? So I've got Bumble Fox, I've got Dotty Butterfly, I've got sequins, ribbon, that's four. Oh, am I using enough? Let me think. Ribbon, oh, I've got the thread, haven't I? I think the thread can count as well. So I've got the flare, the thread, the Bumble Fox piece, sequins ribbon yeah that's fine and also this is not a bamboo fox so this is like another type of um, embellishment so i did think about whether i might want to add some um splatter but i don't think i do because it would yeah it's not really it'd be difficult to find a place for the splatter i have got a green journey on home i think for some reason it's not there i can't see it so Hmm, that's strange unless I've put it with another layout. Right, I think this layout might be finished. I've added all the thread that I want to add. I've added the ribbon. I've just got to do the writing. It's quite a as I say, simple layout, but I think the photos on, on this layout, I want them to sort of take centre stage. So a little bit of embellishing, a little tiny bit of stamping, and then the journaling here. So, yeah. So this is uh, Catherine's challenge over at Dotty About Flair the um, double page layout challenge and also as I've said I'm doing this one for the Bamble Fox monochromatic challenge as well and um, what I'll do is at the end of this video I'll add a little clip of Buddy rolling around on the grass so if you want to see that you know it will be towards the end of the video so yeah I'll add the journal and then I'll um, I need to find my green pen if I can find it if not I'll have to use black and um yeah, then it'll be finished. So uh, I'll pop some photos up and what have you. And uh, once again, thanks for joining me. Stay safe, take care, enjoy National Scrapbook Day and I shall see you next time.